Okay, so in the last video we designed this screen. So what we want to do is actually add some tab gestures to this view so that we can push a new screen onto this when we're done. So what we're going to have to do is actually create our new view. So the first thing we'll do is embed this in a navigation controller by going to editor, embed in, navigation controller. So what you can see now is we have our first view which is going to be a navigation controller and then we have our home view controller here so a good thing that we can also quickly do now is to add the new view controller which is going to be pushed onto that so let's call that um, article home so let's create a new UI view controller class and call that article home not a good name I think it's not complete let's go here article home all right so we're gonna drag a new view controller to our screen here let's do this and then we want to create a new segue so to do that, to create a new segue, we can select the, this previous one, hold on the control key, and then control drag to this one. And then we release that, select push, and that's our new segue created. So let's select that and call that detail. Right? Okay, sounds good. So the next step is to add some tab gestures because these are custom controls. We need to add tab gestures so that this can show up in this can actually push a new view controller onto that. So go, going back to our home view controller, we're gonna have to create or change or add a protocol to our controller and say that's gonna be a UI gesture rec recognizer delegate. That's a tongue teaser there. All right, cool. So then the next thing we need to do is make sure that we can tap on the sub views. So what we'll do is a uh, Say UI tap gesture. Create a new version of that. So do in it with target, which is going to be self, and then an action which we haven't created yet, but we'll say, let's call that push new controller. Yep, and then we can add this controller as a delegate. So it's a tab gesture that set delegate to self. And then we say sub view add gesture recognizer and say tab gesture. So what this does is it's gonna create a new tab gesture there, set this view controller as delegate so it can receive the callbacks, and then our sub view, which is gonna be each of the sub views on the bottom there, will be will have a gesture recognizer to it. So basically when we tap on them, it's gonna push a new controller. So we need to create that new method called push new controller so let's say that's an id action push new controller so let's create that so when that happens we need to push in the new controller actually call the segue so we say self dot perform Perform segue with identifier. I think we call the detail, and then the sender is self. So this comes from the name we gave this segue. So if we click on that, that's called detail down there. Okay, so I think we should be able to run this now and actually get a a quick tap on those. Well, it looks like our 
navigation controller has actually pushed our views off the screen so what we need to do is actually hide the navigation controller we don't want that in this in this view so what we want to do is actually implement the view with our pair method Let's call the super before we go ahead and then what we'll do is do self navigation controller dot navigation bar hidden equals yes. So let's take that off. And then it looks like we're gonna have to re re add or basically reframe our view so if this up view controller that set frame when we come in here so our frame there is gonna be zero three seven two three twenty and then it's gonna be about eighty eight high so that's gonna be the same coordinates that we have down here so we also need to set the frame of this one too then the main the main image view up here so let's increase that um, so what we want to do, what we want to do is um, create a new UI view, or basically connect it, so we can actually modify the properties in code. So we do that and do the same thing that we did up there. So IB outlet UI view. This is going to be our main view container. Synthesize that. And then going back to our story, but we need to do a, we need to connect that. We can't really get to it because this is hiding it. So trick I always do is actually shift the content a little bit. Let's move that a little bit to the side. And actually, that's what we want. We want to get at that controller there. So if I right click on that and I choose my main view controller, my connect it to that view, then we are good to go. So let's move this back to where it was. So that's going to be a 20. Okay, so in the home view controller, what we now need to do is do the same thing. Set the frame for our main view controller. And this is going to start at the origin. And it's going to be 367 high. So let's run that. And it looks like we're good to go. So that's it. So now if I tap on the, that one, it gives us an empty view, which we can't get back from because our navigation bar is hidden. But so now what we now need to do is actually design this view. This view is going to look similar to. It's going to look similar to this one with the transparent navigation bar and the custom back button down there. So. That's what we're going to do in the next video. Um, stay tuned for that and thanks for watching this video.